I've been saying to people for years and years that the best thing that's ever happened to me was going through indescribable pain in my near-death experience. And um, that time in a coma and having my face rebuilt. The strength that I've found through all that pain is priceless. I would do it all again in a heartbeat. And to awaken spiritually in consciousness and have no fear now of death. It's the most liberating place you can ever live from. So it's priceless. I'd do it all again. And the love that I can feel in my heart now is priceless. To feel this much joy for existence rather than happiness and neediness over material things, just joy in my heart is something I never thought I'd experience after all the years decades of hating myself depression and self-hate and anxiety and worthlessness so it's so strange for some people when they hear me say that it's the single greatest thing that's ever happened to me. It's actually a blessing. It's like a gift that I've been given. Extremely painful way to gain the gift, but it was a beautiful, beautiful part of my life that I'm truly grateful for. All of it. So... This state of consciousness <clears throat> and this creativity and love that I can feel right now um, was born out of that place. It was born out of that pain. So I would do it all again. And the power in what I teach and the power in the workshops um, with my coaching clients is that it's not about the details of your past. You can, you can find this strength, you can find a diamond in anything. Even in the darkest, murkiest waters, when you can rise up above it and not be in the situation, but, but viewing it from a higher point of consciousness, and you can see the teaching that was in it for you, the wisdom, then you're free. You're free of the past. You're free of that story of the past. And you just liberate so much energy in that space. You've got to experience it. You can't know this intellectually. But to be trapped in our pain, in our story, in our ego, and spending our whole life identifying with it, it takes huge amounts of energy, all of our creativity and this joy that I'm talking about and the ability to feel gratitude for it just to be there. Like you're not trying to be grateful. It is just there in your heart. This just happens when we're no longer carrying the past with us. All you carry is the teaching. You carry the diamond. Carry the gold out of your past, and that's wisdom. That's what wisdom is. And then there's no hurt, heavy burden in those roads you've walked along. Because when you find presence, when you find this present moment, and you love yourself, you are in love with your own beautiful being. You wouldn't change a single thing that has ever happened to you. And that's the place that I live from now. I know no enemies in this world um, because it's it's just a waste. That's a waste of my energy to bear grudges and to blame and, and hate on other people. So 
Yeah, if you guys want to know more about my journey, head to DamienHorton.com forward slash books. I've got the uh, ebook, the hard copy, the video book now, which is just about to go out, which is me reading it to you and elaborating on bits and, and some coaching tips in there as well as we go through it. And if you want to get along to these workshops that I've passionately and lovingly built through Limitless Initiatives, head to DamienHorton.com uh, forward slash workshops and register your interest. So that's it, guys. I can hear my dog Bella in the background. She wants some food. So i got to go. Um, but whatever you're going through, and it might just be a lack of belief in yourself. It doesn't have to be some huge event where your world's falling down. I promise you that there's freedom from this place. There's freedom from pain. There's freedom from the drama. And yet it's thick and it feels insurmountable when you're wrapped up in it. But if my story is anything to go by, and I consider it proof, it's science, it's scientific proof of our potential. So I'm just a dude. I'm a regular guy um, who's now completely on the other side of this and completely free from all of that darkness and that pain and that addiction and that depression. And this is, there's no tablet that I took. This is not like I went to a doctor and I got a tablet and now I feel this way. I cultivated it within myself, which is why the, my book, my first book, is called Limitless Reconnecting with the Infinite Power Within. Because it is inside every single one of us. I promise you that. And I mean it when I say this. I love you guys. Once you process pain and once you deal with the stuff that we, we all have this stuff then this ability to feel deep compassion and connection to everyone just it's there again it arises naturally you start to understand that we're one consciousness it's a fact you will know it when you reach the end my near-death experience allowed me to dip into it halfway through the journey and experience that unity of consciousness it's not a belief or a religion or some subscription and it's not something i want you to i'm not asking you to believe in something you can experience it for yourself this is the point of my workshops and my teaching is that it's available to you to experience anyone can have it it's your birthright and then you don't need the fear and you don't need to believe some off-the-shelf, prepackaged way of, you know, believing in this world, thinking in this world, some religion or something you were born into. Because if there's one thing I can tell you, it is this. To know and experience your true self is the end of drama and suffering. It's the end of fear. So I don't ask anyone to believe in what I'm saying. I, I ask those who want to go on the journey to find out. And many people who have been to my workshops have had these profound experiences in consciousness, spiritual awakening, whatever you want to call it, the Kundalini rising. And... Um, yeah, it's one of the first things that I said to my ex-partner when I came out of that breathwork session when the Kundalini awakened for me. I just said I, I feel very deeply that it's part of my path to teach this, to give this, so that other people can experience this level of bliss. It's beyond words. <laughs> Um, so that's it. You know, I got to feed Bella, guys. So we're on a tangent there at the end, but that's just demo for you. Much love. New music is out now, and more coming over the next few weeks. Peace.